following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. This morning, she boarded a train and traveled all the way from Petticoat Junction. Meredith McRae. I'm usually sitting here with my husband, Greg Malavy, but I have a wonderful, wonderful substitute today, my father, Gordon McRae. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Marcy. He once went under the name of Guido Panzini, but we all know him and love him. A good golfer, too, Mr. Pat Harrington. Hi. Thanks, Vinny. And I'm sitting here next to my lovely wife, Mrs. Greg Malavy. <laughs> the next introduction was written by Pat Harrington. <laughs> this gentleman once gave the same performance for five weeks running. He wouldn't dare give it standing still. Gary Crosby. Oh, uh, thank you, and I'd like you to meet now my keeper, Barbara. Barbara Keith. That was a show business. <laughs> and I am here with a friend of mine this morning, taking him for a little trip. My name is Vin Scully. His name is Duke. Welcome to a take two, and we'll be right back in a moment. A dog in search of a fire hydrant here on National Television. My friend here is named Duke, and he happens to be a Labrador retriever. They make very good pets and were ordinarily bred for hunting originally. They're strong swimmers. They're very good in the water. Another Labrador named Adjutant lived in England happens to hold an additional distinction which makes him uh, rather unique among all dogs. So let's separate our panel now. We'll find out if you know something about dogs and particularly a Labrador named Adjutant. Adjutant was born on August the 14th, 1936. What makes him unique is simply this. He went on to live longer than any other dog in recorded history. So the question then is, how long did Adjutant live? How many years old do you think was the oldest dog ever? You have 10 seconds. <laughs> all right, let's start with daughter and dad. First of all, to the lovely Meredith. Okay. Meredith McRae, what would you think? I said 30 years. 30 years. And Gordon, you've already put it in. It looks like 56. Are you supposed to put it in right yeah. away? Well, we'd like to hear that golden voice. 56 years. Oh, great. Okay. Oh, 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 <laughs> That's the way. Oh, oh great Scott. Oh, 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 let's go to Marge and Pat. Marge, how old is the oldest dog? I don't know. I said 17. 17 years. Pat? I said 23 years. How would Guido Panzini say it? He would say 20, 20, 20, 20, the dog was said, the dog's still alive. <laughs> <He's> still 20. <laughs> 23 years. Let's go to Barbara and Gary. Barbara? Uh, 19 years. 19. Can you see that? Those are, no, it's, it's a very faint 19. It's a 19. bad pen. It's a very bad very pen. Very bad pen. Okay. Very and you pen. say, sir, with a good pen. With a good pen and with a lot of love in my heart. Is this where you put this thing? Bad, right, and bad. I right. say... 25. 25 years. Okay. Everybody has dogs, knows dogs, knows all about dogs. But how old is the oldest dog? And this guy here is really shaking. First of all, this morning our cameras are in the studios of WDSU in New Orleans, Louisiana. And New Orleans, for you unfortunate who have never visited that lovely city, is called the Crescent City, located between Lake Pontchartrain and the Mississippi River. It's known for its old world charm and atmosphere, drawing culturally for its heritage both from the Spanish and French. It boasts some of the world's finest restaurants, also home of the celebration to end all celebrations, the Mardi Gras. John Harlan, tell us the name of our first contestant from our NBC affiliate WDSU. Ben, the first contestant will be Emily Neby. Yeah! Emily sounds like she's getting a round of applause. Emily, may we? Hello. You're all ready, Emily? Ready, Bobby. All right, fine. You know, of course, about the question, how old is the oldest dog in recorded history? Let me tell you, Em, that you are playing for a 13-foot sailboat. <laughs> Before you make your decision, let's check the averages, shall we? 
The oldest dog in recorded history, Meredith and Gordon, said 43 years old. Marge and Pat, 20 years old. Barbara and Gary, 22 years old. So, Emily, for the 13-foot sailboat, my dear, what would you guess be the couple closest to the correct answer? I would think Barbara and Gary. Barbara and Gary at 22 years, okay. Our good friend Duke here brought the answer right along, and he has it around his neck. The oldest dog in recorded history, 27 years old, Barbara and Gary. Sailboat, don't go away now. You promise you're gonna stay right there? I won't move. Okay. We'll return right after Duke retrieves this short commercial. Go get a commercial, Duke. Let's make it for dog food, shall we? Ladies, one person in here waved. And I won't embarrass her and say who it was. Please oh, you know do not wave. Oh, we didn't say, did somebody wave? That one was smoked yesterday. Ah. Uh... Our consolation prize, a trio of Rival Electrics, the Canomatic with Ice Crusher, the Rival Grindomatic Beat Grinder, plus Rival Solid State Blender. Set the correct speed, the exact time, then touch a button, all from Rival. Well, it is haircut day on It Takes Two, so let us welcome Barbara Paul Rodriguez and a clean-cut member of our staff, Mr. Ralph Wise. <laughs> Phil, first of all, how long have you been cutting hair? Well, Vince, uh, it's been about 10 years, so perhaps. Some... You know, I just wonder, because of the long hair fad that we have nowadays, has that affected your business at all? Uh, quite a bit. Uh, it, well, just in my shop, it's, uh, it's been about 20, I'll say 20%. First men shop with curlers, huh? Yes. <laughs> Let's separate our panel right now. Haircuts, hair, the big subject modern day. The question simply this, how many men are there in the United States per barber? Let's put it another way. For every one barber, there are how many men, would you think? You have about 10 seconds to do a little Here. division and... <laughs> There's 200 million people, and there's X number of men. How many barbers do you think are there per men? Okay, let us bring together Barbara and Gary for this very important message this morning. Barbara, my dear, what would you think? Uh, 35. 35? <laughs> 35. That's how many? That's it, Vinny. 35. That's, that's, that's the whole thing. Okay, Gary, you want to pick up and vamp a little? Well, I got a little heavy. I think uh, I got a thousand. A thousand, all right. Let's go to Marge and to Pat. Marge, what would you think? Uh, well, I said 200. I don't know. 200 men. You didn't give her very well at all. And oh. what's I understood your question perfectly. Uh, then no, you were paying attention. Uh, and, uh, my answer is 21,500. All right, fine. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Moving right along to Meredith so. and Gordon. Meredith, what would you think? Well, believe it or not, I said 10 million. 10 million men per barber. I don't know if I understood or not. All right. Gordon, what would you think? Well, I didn't understand at all, Ben. Uh, I, I just You'll put... Uh, Ten down here. Uh, Ten. Thank you, <laughs> What an average we've did, got. Uh, did you leave a call? I mean, uh, we're, we're on, you know. <laughs> this is not, we're really bearing down. That's oh, okay. I just want to make sure you guys are with us. Okay. Let's go back. Like Let's go to Louisiana. Really, we'll go to New Orleans, and we're going to be talking to Emily. Yes. Oh. Emily. Here I am. Okay. <laughs> Emily, you are playing for right now a jet trip for two to Hawaii. <laughs> Have you ever been to Hawaii, Emily? Have you ever been there? No, and if I miss this, my husband will kill me. Okay, well, he will not dare to do that. Let's check our averages, first of all. How many men per barber in the United States? Meredith and Gordon have averaged out to 5 million. Marge and Pat, 10,850. Barbara and Gary, 517 and a half. So, Emily, it will be up to you. I'm going to go with Barbara and Gary. Again. You say Barbara and Gary, 517 and a half men per barber in the United States. Pardon me, sir, do you have the answer? Underneath the sheet is the answer. There are exactly how many men per barber in the United States? 670. That's Congratulations to those wizards, Barbara and Gary. And Emily, you are going to Hawaii. Aloha. And to tell you all about it, Emily, here is John Harlan right now.
You'll be staying at the new Roadway Waikiki. It offers fine accommodations plus the famous tradition of old-fashioned hospitality that's made the entire roadway system so popular with travelers. Congratulations. Oh, we're delighted for you, Emily. And I'm sure glad your husband won't have to pay you after all. That's what we'd love you for that. Don't go away. Two down, two to go for the brand new car. We're going to go backstage and get a lawnmower from Mr. Wise while you wait for this important message. A little bit off the top. Slightly on the side. Say, let's just...